there, yarn lovers. It's Gary, and I'm coming to you from my happy place, the Yarn Corner here on Vancouver Island in Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Sunday, November the 20th, 2022, and this is video number 164. How are you all doing? I hope you're well and staying safe. I'm doing great. I have the house to myself today, so I thought I'd jump in here and do some videos. Hopefully I'll get through a few. I've got some orders that, that I've been making over the course of three months, and some are small, some are bigger, but I hopefully will get through this one today. It is one of the ones that I've been really eager to show and highlight in my channel. And so, yeah, but before I get started, I want to say if you're happening across this channel for the very first time, hi, I'm Gary. I set this channel up to talk about all of my knitting, crochet, a little bit of yarn dyeing. I will be getting back into it. <laughs> being procrastinating or being sidetracked from doing that and yarn purchasing so where I buy my yarn and my tools for my crafts if that kind of thing is of interest please stick around and for those who have come back and always comment and support by watching I want to say thank you so much for returning now what am I wearing and what is Hank wearing here Hank's my man form uh, so I just recently finished this. It was in, featured in the last video. So if you're interested in finding about more of the details on what yarn it is, then you can go back to video number 163. And uh, it is called the Murano Squares Shawl, or it could be a scarf as well, depending on how long you want to do it. And it is uh, a paid for pattern. The design group is called, I'm looking down here because I've got notes. It's called Stitched Nerd Designs. And the one I'm wearing here is a crochet pattern that I crocheted the Rose Matrix shawl. And it was uh, released by and published by Knitting, uh, Knitting Fever. I'll link that pattern down below as well. It is also a paid for pattern. And uh, the designer's name I will not butcher. So it'll be written down below in the description box as well. Moving right along, let's talk about the order that I made from pleta.bg. No affiliation whatsoever. Uh, this is an online store which is situated over in Bulgaria. The price points of these that I'll be featuring are in Euro currency. So I have my little handy dandy iPad down here and it's featuring all the uh, fees and uh, payments that I made in euro currency. Now it came mailed to me by Canada Post, so I did not have to pay for any extra uh, shipping and handling fees from a third party courier service like UPS or FedEx or DHL. So I really like going the public service route because you kind of eliminate already that, uh, that sneaky cost that you don't really know until weeks after it's been sent from the store. So this is how it came in this box here. Now this order was made on August 31st of 2022. So the price points that I'm gonna give you are from back then. They may have changed when you're watching this. So if you do go back and you look at the prices, they might be a little different. Um, now to talk about Pleta, their yarn website has a wonderful arrangement of collections from different brands. So you might have heard of Stenley or Yarn Art. That's what they have here. So I bought one of uh, some of Stenley's collection and one Yarn Art so that we can look at the different styles of color blending and how they actually handle the yarn with their different transitions of color. Uh, yeah. So it did take about, I'm going to say, three weeks to get to me from Bulgaria all the way across Canada to the West Coast here where I'm situated. And that's a long distance. So I think three weeks is doable and it's understandable. Half of that time is in customs being held up. So I would say that the traveling time is probably around 10 days in between uh, customs, like on either side. And then customs takes up a week to 10 days here, generally, it is a long, lengthy period. Uh, and because we're getting closer now to Christmas, I think that kind of time frame may actually lengthen as well. 
The first one that I'm going to showcase here is the Yarn Art. I only got one of these because it was quite uh, relatively, I'm going to say, more of the mid-range of pricing. And look at those colours. I absolutely love the colours. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which I like. Really, really soft. So it goes from this nice grey silvery color to a green and then on its way to white so the beautiful transitions in there are slow and long and i have seen some wonderful patterns on the on the pleta.bg website that shows some suggestions on how this uh, blends out and it's just beautiful now a lot of the patterns that i use might actually require a little bit more than the thousand meters that you get in here like normally around 1200 meters is where a, a good really huge shawl would be so i'm thinking i might add a little bit of something else to this colorway like i might have some white somewhere in my leftovers from other cakes that i will probably use in with this as well so let's take a look at some of the details here it is color number uh, 274, made in Turkey. They are saying here to use a, what is that? A 2.5 millimeter set of knitting needles or a three millimeter crochet hook. It is classified a super fine number one and the fiber content is 55% cotton and 45% pack. It is 250 grams in the cake, giving me a whopping 1,000 1, meters. So that's the details there. It did get a little ripped and I taped it back up. Definitely could wear this against your skin with no issues about scratching. It is a quite nice soft yarn. All the strands are twisted together, all the plies. I did, op I did sort of unravel it a little bit to see how many strands there were, and there are four strands. It comes with an easy pull start tab, so you can do a center pull if you wish, or a um, exterior pull if you wanna kind of work your cake in from the outside. So that's kind of versatile. What else can I tell you about this? Content, okay. So, what I'm looking at online is in the order form, it says here that uh, back in August, I was selling this cake for nine euros and 36 cents, which I think translates in Canadian cur currency to around 15 to $18. I don't know, it swings around all the time, so you can't keep a track on it. But um, I thought that was okay for a beautiful shawl that I could create with this that the cost was um, and relatively, like when you're thinking of what you get from it, that the 15 to 18 Canadian would be worth all the wonderful joy in working this up. So yeah, there's the colors up close. Super nice. Now I'm gonna compare it with some of the Stanley yarns that I have here and we can talk about the differences between how the yarn is made up. And what I have here is a line of the Stanley called Candy. It is also 100% cotton, so it's slightly different in makeup to the cotton pack blend. And this is what the first one looks like. Now it did come in its beautiful little saran wrap, but I didn't want to make such a big noise with <laughs> opening it up on camera so I've already pre-opened all of this and I'll go back into their bags after I finish the recording but so you can see the color and how it looks it isn't as shiny as the uh, flowers which is this one here this one has a bit of a sheen to it and this one seems a little bit more duller now with this one it is also in a twist and it comes with this really cute pull tab here of a wooden love heart. It's so sweet. I like that a lot. Oh my God. And it's equally as soft. Very, very nice. 
the um, the feel of this feels a bit drier to touch. So if you're working on a garment for a long time using this 100% cotton here, you might feel that you might need to moisturize your skin a bit. Whereas perhaps maybe this one might not be as moisture drawing than the Stanley one. Uh, so the experience might be a little different when you're using that uh, yarn art to this one here, which is the Stanley Candy. I love the transition. It looks like a nice long transition as well. And here we have a kind of all the greens into the blue. So we've got like a citrusy yellow green all the way through to more of a lime and then a darker green here to blue. So I think they have given it lovely names like royal blue, dark green, kiwi and yellow. Yeah. So let me tell you a little bit about this. I believe all the Stanley lines are manufactured and produced over in Bulgaria because uh, the labels here have the address of an, a, a Bulgaria location. Now, this one is suggesting here for a three to four millimeter set of knitting needles or a zero to two crochet hook. Quite small indeed. This one you have, you can machine wash with 30 degree water, which I think is kind of look cool, kind of on the cooler side of the water range and lay flat to dry. The washing instructions for the yarn art is mm, very similar. This one has a different temperature. I believe it says here, you can machine wash this on a 40 degree Celsius but also lay flat to dry. Now, if I'm working on something that's taken me like a good couple of weeks to finish using one of these cakes, I would probably hand wash. <laughs> I need to be on the safe side. And this is a 280 gram cake, giving me 900 meters to play around with. So that's really neat. The color number here is 818 and there is definitely an 03 after it but I don't think that relates to what the website says so it's 818. Beautiful I love it so much it is quite dense and it's a little heavier I think in the feel than than this cake here. Now I did get a few of the candies and I'll show you the colorways that I got. This one here Awesome colorway. It has a silvery kind of gray with a smoky quality to it. And then it goes into these uh, warm autumnal colors like a, a goldy tan and then into an orange tan and then over into this maroon, almost red pink color, like a deep, deep red pink color. It's very, very nice. I love that a lot. Again, the easy pull tag, and I didn't give you the color number here. It is 775 01. I don't, I, I don't see that the 01 has any uh, significance on the website, but maybe that is a lot number. And the last one that I got in the Stanley candy was this colorway here. I love it. Look at that. So this one is, again, more of the citrusy colors and then into uh, like a, a khaki green, more of a, again, that uh, kind of forest green. And then it goes into a, would you call that mint? Looks like a minty or a spearmint green. Yeah. And all of the examples on their site that showcase these in makes look beautiful long transitions, very subtle. Now this one also has the twist, as I mentioned, very similar, but it is a drier type cotton. The next few that I've got, oh, I should tell you the price point of this. I'm a bit all over the place today. So the price point on each of these candy cakes was seven euro and 42 cents. That's not bad. Like if you get a whole 
shawl or you're making something and you're entertained for many hours for a couple of weeks on one of these cakes, I think that the, what does that translate, maybe in Canadian currency to around $12, I think that's a good purchase. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful cake. The next line that I've got to showcase from the Stanley range is called Muffin Fresh. Check out this Whopper. Holy smokes. If you've ever seen a lot of podcasters, I think Ginger does this a lot on Yarn Geek. She always puts it up against her head to see how big in comparison. <laughs> Not quite my head. My head's huge. And just so that you can see what the difference looks like between the this one here being the candy and this one being the muffin fresh. You can see the size difference there. This yarn is also not as soft. It has a bit of a different feel to it. It's more like a velvety feel, like a when you touch it, you feel that fur quality and it's not as sleek, but there is going to, there is a little bit of fuzz to this, to this yarn. Uh, it has the easy pull tab in that wooden heart there. So super cute. And what can I tell you? Let's look at some of the details on this muffin fresh. Okay. It's got the address here of a, of a Bulgaria location. So I think the manufacturing is done in Bulgaria and the content is hundred percent acrylic. In the cake, you get 430 grams, which translates to 2,000 meters. That's a lot. They are suggesting here to use a 3.5 to 4.5 set of knitting needles or a 2 to 4 millimeter crochet hook. You can put this in the machine to wash on 30 degrees Celsius, which I think when you put your hand in it, it's probably just like lukewarm, sort of almost to the cooler side of water and lay flat to dry. It is made up differently than the uh, cotton, the 100% cotton, which was a plied yarn twisted together. Oh, by the way, if I didn't remember to tell you about the washing of this one here, you can actually put this in the machine wash as well. And it has similar instructions where it's the coolish side of the water temperature and lay flat to dry. I would say hand wash, only to be on the safe side. And in separates, because these colors are very uh, very saturated, so I don't know whether they'd bleed or not, but I'm yet to find out and I'll tell you as soon as I wash one. But this one here, getting back to the muffin fresh, is a series of strands that aren't, that aren't twisted together. So they're separate strands that you work in as one. Uh, some people have suggested using a bead to keep it all together. I don't tend to have an issue with it. And occasionally, like if one pops out or whatever, I tend to just go ahead and continue crocheting or continue knitting. Um, so yeah, I'm not really too fussed if there is a little bit of texture in there from these loose strands that may fly out. Uh, <laughs> but let's talk about this one. In the colorway number, it is 1016. As I mentioned, it has a different feel to it. It's kind of more of a fuzzy yarn. And the other one is more of a dull kind of dry yarn. This one is going from a beautiful gold color to a khaki. And then there's this chocolate brown into a beige color on the outside. Now the price point here on the muffin fresh that I've got is nine euros and 77 cents. That's killer. I think uh, to be working on something and enjoying all those wonderful transitions for only nine euros 77, which I think translates to around 15 Canadian dollars. It's pretty good. I have another colorway here in the Muffin Fresh, and it is 1054. Wow, this is stunning. 
and it's coming out really true. I would even say that this yellow in here is more vibrant when you see it in real. It's gold. It's such a shimmery gold. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, so this one goes from a gold to a mustardy tan color uh, into an orange red, more, more of a deeper ruby red, and then out to this, I think it, it's so dark, I can't even tell. It does have hues when I'm looking at it through the camera as a green, like a very foresty hunter green. But when you look at it, it looks very black in real life. But yeah, very, very nice. The last one, totally not my color range, but I wanted to challenge myself with something a bit different. Excuse me. So I got this one here. I absolutely love this one. This one has more of a, what is that? It's kind of like a gelati. It's pastel -y of some nature, whether it's, I think it might be a sort of a greenish color. Yeah, it's a greenish color, almost greenish beige. And then it goes into a turquoise blue, like a light turquoise. Then it goes into a green, orange, into this red. Absolutely stunning. I love it, love it, love it so much. And all of these also have the, the wooden heart pull tab for the center. So vibrant. Look how bright that is. And they're, they're true to true to camera. And in some cases, with this one here in particularly, I think it's even brighter when you look at it in person than it is on camera. And this one is probably a true representation. Love it, love it, love it. Now, to talk about shipping. The delivery cost here was $43.76. euros. It did come Canada Post, so I wasn't slapped with any hidden fees for a courier service to deliver it to my home. Uh, and I believe that there was a small fee for me to pick it up from customs. And that might have been within the vicinity of like a $20 fee to uh, satisfy the customs in Canada when it came through. So all in all, I'm super happy with the order. Now, I did find that the cost for shipping was a lot, but when I think of like some yarns that I might not be able to potentially try out and uh, have in my collection, and it's only 45 euros or 43 euros in this case, that's stopping me from trying a yarn that I may never ever get to try in my life. I think I'm gonna try and uh, pay for that to get the experience of the yarn. So, and I know that this yarn you can get in other er in other places like hobium.com. Uh, there was also another yarn store that I think has it on and off, and that might be Vilrita, which I've placed an order. I'm still waiting for it to show up, and it's been week number four, so I'm not sure where it's got lost. But I think at times that they have had yarn art as well in their um, collection. And they are in Lith Lithuania. So, uh, yeah, other places and choices if you want to try out the yarn art where you can find them. Not affiliated with any of those yarn stores. Not affiliated with any yarn store, to be honest. But um, I hope you enjoyed that. It It's a, it's a great... Um, investment for me and I'm going to be thinking up some wonderful patterns over the course of the next year or two and trying these yarns out. So more about them in the future down the way. With that, that catches you up on this little visit and I will jump into my next video. But for now, I wish you all a great evening, a daytime, depending on when you're watching this and stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.